Hi, I'm Lucinda from Craft Gin Club, and today I'm going to teach you how to stock a ginny bar cart. Now, it looks like a lot, but do not be intimidated. We're gonna break it down into three really easy sections. So we've got your essentials, then we're gonna talk about what you need to make classic gin cocktails, and then we're gonna talk about some fun ways to put ginny twists on more modern cocktails and what you need to do that. So let's get started. So first and foremost is the gin, and what gins you choose comes down entirely to your preference but I think it's really nice to have a little bit of a selection. So here are some of my favorites. Chalkstream Gold from the River Test Distillery is a great juniper forward gin. It's nice to have a juniper forward gin because it's that really classic ginny taste. So you know that this is gonna work in gin and tonics, it's gonna work in all the classic cocktails that you wanna be making. But then for a little bit of a twist for something unusual, I like to have a really botanical forward gin to play around with. Chemist from America is a really good example of this and it's totally delicious. Then it's nice to have a citrus forward gin. So this is gonna work in all of your really citrusy bright cocktails. This Mad Owl Special Edition gin is best in class. It's really, really delicious. And then I think it's always nice to have a flavor gin just in case you wanna mix it up, do something special when people come over. Pink gins are always really lovely. So this Salcom Rosé Saint Marie gin is really elegant. It looks beautiful in the glass. And one thing that we don't have here, but that I would definitely recommend you get if you like it is a slow gin really popular at Christmas, but actually slow gins are great in all kinds of cocktails that are remixed just a little bit. So slow gin Negronis are great, slow gin fizzes, really surprisingly versatile thing to have on your bar card. Next up, tonics. I always like to have a few on hand because I never know when I'm gonna fancy a little G&T. So there's kind of three kinds that I always like to have. The first is a classic Indian tonic. Troutons is great, it's really soft lovely tonic. Then I really like to have some kind of unusual tonic. So Navas Garden Tonic is a perfect example of that. It's a little bit more herbal. And then we love Lixir here at Craft Gin Club. So I've always got a few of their flavor tonics on my bar cart. I especially love the pink grapefruit and the rhubarb and ginger, which are just here. Garnishes, do not underestimate garnishes. They're actually a really important part of a gin and tonic and also cocktails. So I always have a few kicking around and I love our dried garnishes because first of all, they're beautiful. Second of all, they're always ready whenever you want to drink. And third of all, they could not be easier to use and to keep. So I've always got a cute bag or two of these on my bar cart. Another thing that I love to have a bottle of on my bar cart is simple syrup. Now you can make this yourself, but it's so much easier to have it pre-bottled, ready to go. And also, it's very cute. Lemons and limes, really key. Fresh juice makes all of the difference to cocktails and you can use the peels for garnishes. So I always have a few of these kicking around. If you love foamy cocktails like Clover Clubs or Gin Fizzes, it's always handy to have eggs so that you can use egg white or my personal favorite, chickpeas so that you can use aquafaba to make those really beautiful foamy cocktails. Gin and sparkling wine are a great combination, so I love to have a little bottle of sparkling wine ready to go to make a sparkling cocktail. They're great for special occasions uh, or like a Wednesday. So those are all of your essentials. Now let's talk about what you need to make classic gin cocktails. So think your martinis, your negronis, your bees knees. Vermouth is a great place to start. Vermouth is really the cornerstone of a lot of classic cocktails, and there's two kinds of vermouth. There's dry vermouth, which you would have in your classic martini, and then there's sweet vermouth, which is great in your Negroni. There's loads and loads of ways to drink vermouth. It's really trendy right now, so definitely head to our shop to stock up, because there's lots of really cool ways to use it. And my personal favorite thing, possibly on the planet, is Campari. This is a beautiful red aperitif liqueur. It's really bitter and complex and just lovely. It's great in Negronis, but there's so many ways to drink it. You can drink it with gin, on the rocks, over ice. You can drink it in a Campari spritz. It's just wonderful. And of course, Angostura bitters. Now, these add an instant layer of complexity to your drinks and it only takes one dash. You can also make decorations on the top of your cocktail with Angostura bitters. So definitely something for cocktail lovers to have on their bar cart. One of my favorite classic cocktails is a bramble. So I always have some creme de mure on deck. This is a blackberry liqueur and it's really, really good. So definitely check this out. Another thing that I like to have is grenadine. So grenadine is a pomegranate syrup. It looks beautiful and it's great in layered cocktails like your sunrise kind of style cocktails. Also, it's one of the key ingredients in a clover club, which we all know I love. Another thing that I always have on my bar cart is runny honey. I love a bee's knees cocktail and honey is a key ingredient in that. And it's also a really nice substitute for simple syrup if you don't have any. Now let's talk about some things that you'll need to make ginny twists on some more modern cocktails. So at Craft Gin Club HQ, we are obsessed with espresso martinis. So we always have a coffee liqueur to hand so that we can shake some up. Uh, we also love Contro. 
And we use this to make generitas, which is exactly what it sounds like, a ginny twist on the margarita. Very fun, definitely gets the party started. And if you've not heard of creme de cacao before, I'm about to change your life. This is a chocolate liqueur. It tastes amazing, it smells amazing, and a chocolate martini, highly recommended. Now, if you really wanna make cocktails, but you can't be bothered to get all of that kit in, do not worry. At Crafting Club, we have these amazing cocktail syrups. You can make all of these classic cocktails in three steps, just three ingredients, gin, the syrup, and a mixer. We've got pina colada, cosmopolitan, one of my personal favorites, and of course, our gin star martini if you love passion fruit. Super simple, cocktails ready in a snap, cannot recommend highly enough. So that is everything. Now bear in mind, you don't have to get this all at once. Start slow, figure out what you like to drink at home, what cocktails you like to make, and buy bottles little bit by little bit, and eventually you'll have a full, beautiful bar cart. Details of all of these products are in the description below. Let us know if we've missed anything out, and for more Ginny tips and tricks, remember to subscribe. Mm -hmm.